Hello, I'm Dr. Marisa Soca from Argentina. I'm a specialist in internal medicine and dermatology. Dermatitis is uh, manifested by a very skin uh, cirrhosis with a red spot covered for small vesicles who itch and intense pruritus that decrease the sleep and the quality of life of patients. The most affected areas in this patient is depend about the age. It's not the same baby and children than adults. In baby and children, we can see extension areas, face and neck as the most common zone affected. And in the adulthood, maybe we can see the flexural areas. Babies and children are the most affected by this disease uh, between three months and five years old with 80% of the cases after one year old, but also we can see it in the adulthood. There are a lot of trigger factors in atopic dermatitis. Maybe the most common is the chemical applying in the skin because these are really irritating. Soups, perfumes, stress, of course, uh, be maybe the most common trigger factor that we show in the consult. The difference between atopic dermatitis and eczema uh, has three different points. The first one is the, the genetic composition. Atopic dermatitis has a genetic predisposition that eczema don't. Uh, then the hyperactivity of the immune system and then the alteration of the skin barrier. Atopic dermatitis and eczema, it's the same lesion the difference is that in atopic dermatitis, the whole body is, uh, has the compromise and in eczema is just localized in the zone of the body that is irritating or have the contact, like maybe the watch. You put a watch, it makes a, a contact dermatitis, and when you put it out, the atopic dermatitis, the eczema, uh, it disappears. Atopic dermatitis could involve a chronic disease, but it, it don't uh, depend just from the daily care that I give to my skin. It also depends about the hyperactivity of the immune system. We can see maybe some patients that they are atopic in the childhood, but in the adulthood they don't have any skin lesions. But yes, we can see different signs of atopy as an asthma or rheumatism. The right time to consult the doctor, I think that is when you have the first sign of atopic dermatitis. If you have family with atopy, and maybe your baby have a, a cirrhosis skin, there you can consult just to know how to care and how to take care about that skin barrier. To treat atopic dermatitis, we can divide in topical and systemic treatment. In topical treatment, the first line is obviously corticosteroids. With, uh, we have a low potency, medium and high potency. It depends the area of the body that we want to treat and, and it, it depends the age that we want to treat. It's not the same corticosteroid that, that I'm going to, to give to a baby that to an adult and it's not the same corticosteroid that I'm going to use in, the, in my legs, in my arms or in my trunk that in my face. Also, we have treatment for inflammatory lesions that we can use topical antibiotic or oral antibiotic and the bleach bath that reduce the number of flares that you have in the, in the ear. Dermocosmetic as a moisturized cream, you have to apply daily, once or twice a day, in the whole body from the neck to the foot. This is the first step to reduce the number of lesions and flares that you will have in the future. But 
If you have some flares, some intense flares, in that moment you can put a little bit of corticosteroids over the lesions just for a few days, one, two days, and that's all. But the most important thing is to keep in mind that you always have to moisturize your whole body. The skincare from child and adult, I think it's the same, or it's the same in the daily care, like use specific clothes, like cotton clothes, not good, not fiber synthetic. You have to take a short, uh, short bath with warm water, no soups, no perfumes, just moisturize with a, with a specific product and a very good shower oil. That is the same for all ages. But when we talk about pharmacological product, there is the difference because we see, we know that corticosteroid is the first line of use, but babies can use corticosteroid from high potency. So they can use a low potency corticosteroid and tacrolimus or pimecrolimus in babies older than one year old. To prevent topic dermatitis, we have to take in mind a, a different step that we have to do all days, like use cotton clothes, don't, you, don't use good or fiber synthetic because they are really irritating, don't use too much detergent to wash your clothes because also it's too irritating, um, take a short short bath with warm water, no soups, no perfume, just shower oils, and please never forget about moisturize your body, your whole body, with a correct product. Nowadays, they are talking a lot about nutrition and atopic dermatitis, but I think that it's not the most important thing that we have to take in mind. I think that for atopic dermatitis, the daily care is the most important. Take care with the clothes, take care with the chemical that you put in your skin, take care with the perfumes, soaps, take care with the detergent, you wash your clothes, take care with the bath, with the water, with the weather, with the moisturized cream and with the shower. I think that this is much more important than the food.